The hacker. Name, nationality, location, all unknown. But they all leave clues. And this man knows how to read them. He's an ethical hacker. Somebody's hacked into this site, and what they're doing is what a lot of people do, simply defacing the site, putting on a picture, a graphic, that's going to draw attention to it. So people get points, if you will, or kudos for the number of sites that they hack and the difficulty or perceived difficulty of the site that's hacked. The attack was discovered early this morning when journalists at BBC Three Counties Radio tried to log on to the site. Bedfordshire police say no other system has been affected. So somebody else is looking after the website for them and that's done so that they can make sure that the data that they have for criminal investigations is kept well away from that website. There's no need to put it anywhere near a public website. So who is he? The writing's Arabic, the flag Tunisian. He claims to be 17 and in Hawaii. Professor Maple is sceptical. The chances are that this guy is not a great programmer. Having looked at what else he's done around, I don't think he is. He's hacked um, various people. He's, he's, it's not very nice because he's targeted smaller businesses, personal websites, and he's now managed to hack a police website, which he'll think he's done a, a, a great job. He's not the first. In February, the Met Police site was hacked in a similar way, and this weekend, a Home Office site was used more sinisterly to try and get people's credit card details. Nikki Jenkins, BBC Look East, Bedfordshire.